Hello and welcome to CAD Stencil. Today I'm going to show you four things that a spacebar does in addition to using the spacebar as an enter command. So we have uh, some objects here, line, circle, arc, and text. When we select a line, hover over it and click it, this kind of just uh, modifies it a little bit. If we hit spacebar now, it is a move command. So you can still use it with your ortho and uh, enter a number, maybe a 9 or a 10 for example, and it will move it. The second command for the spacebar using the same concept is uh, clicking a grip, hitting spacebar, hitting spacebar again. So this time it is a rotate command. So I'm going to turn my ortho off and now it is a rotate command. And uh, with the same rotate command we can use it as uh, how many degrees you want or twice I clicked it again it's a rotate command and we can use the same reference command to the center point of the circle and so on and so forth. The third command that we have is again using pressing the spacebar three times. One, so that's move. Two, rotate. Three is the scale command. The regular things that we do in our day-to-day -day AutoCAD Scale it twice in this example. One, two, three. Scale it half. And the fourth one is uh, the same way. Clicking a grip and hitting it four times. One, two, three, four. And that's a mirror command. So it will mirror whatever we do. And this kind of goes with anything, uh, any object that we use. So circle without the spacebar is like that, but if we click on a grip, hit a spacebar, then it starts using those functions. So that's a rotate, that's a scale, and that's a mirror. Move, rotate, scale, and mirror. Majorly or primarily, uh, I use this to align my text. So here it goes. I move my text. Like uh, suppose we have a drawing and uh, we have to align it and we have uh, a lot of things that we need to align our text with. So we'll bring the text over. One, two. Give a reference point which will be the same base point again. Turn on the ortho. That will select the axis. Hit enter turn off the ortho that's a little bit easier to pick point and then click on this point so now this is parallel to our line the text is parallel to the line uh, I'm going to do it one more time click and move and then two times rotate if you want to use it as with the reference so since this is already not at an ortho angle which is a 90 degree I will turn it back to a zero going to my properties which can be opened by control 1 or typing in properties so I will go with the rotation 0 click two times turn on my ortho oh, it froze on me Give me a second here. All right, we're back. So two times, hit, turn on the ortho, reference from the base point along the axis, turn off the ortho, and rotate it and get to the grip point. And that's the four things that a spacebar can do in addition to just using it as an enter command. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you and see you soon. Bye-bye.